Welcome everyone once again to a new report from your channel in real time. We continue to bring you information about Tropical Storm Raphael, which is currently in the process of intensification and is heading towards Cuban territory with the category of hurricane. In this new video, we have that new data provided by the National Hurricane Center on this system as it continues to intensify. We are immediately going to read the most recent report issued by the National Hurricane Center on this system, which says the following, the center of Tropical Storm Raphael was located near latitude 19, on a north and longitude 79.6 or west. Raphael is moving northwest at about 15 tritemir per, which equals 24 km h. A general movement towards the northwest is anticipated during the next two to three days. On the forecast track, the tropical storm is expected to move near or over the Cayman Islands tonight and be near or over western Cuba on Wednesday and move southwest into the Gulf of Mexico by Wednesday night. Reports from a United States Air Force Reserve Casa Huracani's aircraft indicated that the system has maximum sustained winds of 70 mmHr, POH, which is equal to 110 km/h with stronger gusts. A steady to rapid intensification is expected over the next 24 hours or so. And Rafael is expected to become a hurricane over the next few hours as it passes near the Cayman Islands with additional strengthening before making landfall in Cuba. Tropical storm force winds extend outward up to 115 miles, which equals 185 km from the center. The estimated minimum central pressure is 989 millibars, obtained by a Casa Huracani's plane that was investigating this system. As for rain, heavy rain will affect areas of the Western Caribbean through early Thursday particularly through Jamaica and the Cayman Islands. In portions in southern western Cuba, rainfall totals between 3 to 6 inches are expected, with higher totals of up to 10 inches isolated across areas of higher terrain that could lead to areas of flash flooding and landslides. Rainfall totals of 1 to 3 inches are expected for the Florida Keys lower and middle of this territory. This is what the National Hurricane Center mentions. How did you hear? Heavy rains are expected over much of the island of Cuba, as the system currently keeps the Jamaica area under its influence. Also the Cayman Islands, because they have begun to be under the influence of what this system is. We can clearly see how Rafael is, because there he begins to clear his center of discharge. Under pressure, that is, it begins to form an eye so that you understand that part. This is typical. Since when a system begins to acquire the category of hurricane, we can see its center of low pressure clearly there. Since it is already being noticeable from high levels as it advances steadily towards the northwest in direction. Towards the western area of Cuban territory to penetrate directly or very close to the Isla de la Juventud area, and then arrive directly over Cuban territory with the category of hurricane. If we look at the graph that the National Hurricane Center shows us, we can see the color yellow. This is the tropical storm radius. That's where the winds of the system extend. It is this circular area that we can see currently in the image. Here we can see the letter H indicating that Rafael Rafael would be north of the Cayman Islands as a hurricane and then be close to penetrating the territory of Cuba on Wednesday afternoon with the category of hurricane. It would move over waters of the Gulf of Mexico as a hurricane, and it would then be Saturday afternoon when Rafael degrades to one. Tropical storm? How is it seen in this image? Then it would arrive, it would already be Sunday, right there for the Louisiana area, on the Gulf Coast as a tropical storm. As shown in the graph provided to us by the official agency, we can also see the red color over a large part of the western and central area of the territory of Cuba, 
Well, there they are. Under hurricane warning, the blue color would be under watch or under tropical storm warning in this case, and the yellow color would be under tropical storm watch. So residents of the area under warning both the Cayman Islands area, the Isle of Youth, and the western area of Cuba's territory must strictly monitor this system, since it could be intensifying rapidly, as the National Hurricane Center mentions in its report. Intensity patterns are indicating it could be Category 1 to Category 2. As shown in this image, the trajectory models indicate that Rafael must cross precisely through some point in the western zone, a little further to the center of Cuban territory. Also, regarding what the graph that the National Hurricane Center provides us with is, we can see this large margin of error that it shows there on the southern coast of the United States territory, which goes from part of Texas to the Alabama area. That is, the center of Tropical Storm Rafael could move through any point of that by then, which would already be. Monday or Sunday, we could say in the afternoon. Therefore, this system must be monitored very closely. We here on your channel in real time, we will always be informing and carrying first-class information released by the National Hurricane Center about this storm inhabitants. From the warning area, you must closely monitor this system, since as you could see, it is forecast to become a powerful hurricane as it advances steadily towards the Northwest. So far in our video, everyone have a happy afternoon challenge. Was he happy with you?